Hi everybody, welcome to the Drone Zone. In today's video, I'm going to go over the unboxing of the SkyZone 020 OLED FPV goggles. I just got these in the mail today. Um, this was shrink wrapped, but I took it off before I thought, hey, let's do a video. So, stay tuned. So I ordered a Tyro 119 FPV drone off of Race Day Quads. And so that's what I'm preparing for here. I just got my soldering mat. I got a bunch of other soldering tools. This nice little screwdriver pack and all other kinds of accessories came with this. So that will help. I've already got some soldering and some flux and some other tools. So that is gonna be used for another video. So today's video, since this came before I received the drone, we're gonna just have a quick look at it, right? See what you get when you immediately get this. So this was shrink wrapped, like I said. I guess I cheated and un unwrapped it. Let's try to open up this, it's a little bit tight. Okay, and on top you get a little bit of, I guess this is a business card with a barcode both in Chinese and English here. So it's just basically the customer service card and the website and social media information. Then you get a, so it's a user manual, an OLED FPV goggle user manual. Comes in Chinese and English. Clear uh, pictures and they're in color. So that should help you uh, get started. Inside the box, we have this main box. And inside of here, okay, we have a case sky zone a nice durable case as well it's not easily i guess it, it does feel pretty sturdy it would protect your goggles let's see what we got in here okay so on top here it comes with a um, foam face shield i don't know if it's called a shield it's just a thing that goes around your face to make it more comfortable to to wear the goggles you get the omnidirectional antenna patch antenna and the goggles with protective rubber things on the antenna on the antenna connections there so this also did come saran wrapped as well so it does stay nice and clean and scratch free I took it off as well because I got impatient um, I'll show you the photo here in a little bit but yeah so these are the goggles already has the elastic strap on them a lot of videos out there already show you how to use these. There was one video that said that this USB port is, um, you're able to use that for charging. I've tried it, doesn't work. A USB input here, uh, that can be used to power the goggles from a USB power bank if you prefer. It can be used to power the goggles from a USB power bank. All right guys, I just wanted to make a real quick point here on the USB that it doesn't charge. So here is the micro USB. Here's a micro USB port, we'll plug it in. I will use this power bank and it is a 22,000 milliamp hour power bank and the output is five volts and 2.1 amps. So we, I'm gonna use the 2.1 amp here. We're gonna push this button here to turn it on, right? You can see the blue lights and this does work for my phone. And we will turn this on or try to turn on and push the power button. You tell me if the, works or not. Do you see anything? Nope, I can confirm that as well. If I put my face in there, there's nothing. Maybe it's the 2.1 and maybe it takes a 3.0, right? Make sure the button's pushed, lights are on. Do you see anything when I turn it on? I'm gonna push the power button, see? I am pushing the power button right here. Do you see anything? Any screen turn on? I don't either. Uh, all right, so it's 
That's the power bank. And let's just confirm also that the USB doesn't work from a power outlet as well. So here's the power outlet that I use that is plugged into a wall outlet. So we'll go ahead and plug the USB into that. And all right, things are still connected into the goggles here. Let's try and power it on, pushing the button. Do you see anything coming on? Nope. Therefore, this USB port is not for power. So whatever you heard before is false. This does not power the goggles on at all. You will need to use the power jack. I think they're wrong. I think that's just to connect to the, uh, the PC. If I'm wrong, just let me know and help me figure out how to use that for power. Other than that, you have the power jack here and let's just quickly power it up, right? Um, well, we should finish this, right? Because it does come with all these connections or cables in here, all neatly wrapped and tied. So here you got a couple of additional uh, antennas that you're probably not gonna use because you're gonna wanna use the omnidirectional and the patch antenna. And uh, okay, so you have all those. Here's the one for the battery that I was talking about. We'll go ahead and uh, power this on, plug it in like that. And then I have a 6S battery here, probably overkill for these goggles, but it'll, it'll work. And then let's look inside, pull down the power button that comes on. Um, let's just actually, I'm gonna take a video of that as well so that you guys can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on and try to get this camera in here to show you guys what the screen looks like. I don't have anything connected to it, obviously. So it says sky zone there. And then uh, you get the static screen and a bunch of menus up there at the top. So I'm not gonna go over the menus because there's other videos out there that show you that. This is just a show and tell video real quick to show you what comes in the packaging. So let's go ahead and turn this off. It's good that it does work. Ah, tight battery connection there. Okay, uh, just to show you what the battery that I have is, I'm excited to use this and try this on the Tyro 119, the CNHL Black Series, the 1300 milliamp hours, 100C6S. Okay, and inside this, you do get also a, uh, well, I guess a, a Velcro, double, I guess it sticks here on the inside of the goggles and the Velcro will attach to this mesh here for your face and you'll be good to go. I haven't tried it yet. I did notice that I couldn't even find a manual online. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take pictures of each page and stick them at the end of this video so that at least now we have a easier record of the uh, manual online where everybody can come check it out, right? Opening the first page, we have the specs, the channels and packages, what's included in the package, right? So let's go over that real quick. So you do get the goggles, you get one pair, you get the zipper case, which is this, two antennas, well, the patch and the Omni, and then you also get two additional antennas here, a uh, sponge with the Velcro, so that's what this is called, the sponge, and you got the Velcro to stick it onto the goggles, and then you have a few other cables, you have the power cable, head tracker cable, video and audio cable, which are all of these, so you got the audio video, the head tracker cables, uh, the JR and the Futaba style kind, if that's what you guys want to use, and the battery power jack that comes with it. Let's see if I see anything else that stands out. So this is the uh, Sky 020, is actually the upgraded version of the classic Sky 02 series, and it has basically a better steady view or diversity image in it. So can't wait to try that out. And I'm sure you'll see more reviews of that later in my series. Okay, so these are brand new, right? Here on the last page of the manual, we've got firmware update. So since they're brand new, there probably might be a firmware update. We'll see, I'll plug it in to the computer and see, but it says that you just connect the goggles to the computer, connect the goggles with the battery, which yeah, I'll have that later. Hold the mode button, then turn on the goggles, release the mode button. Computer will automatically install the driver. Computer will show a new removable storage. So at least that's nice. Once you plug everything in and turn it on, the computer should automatically install the driver that it needs. Uh, that's for the computer, not for the goggles here. And then copy the goggles firmware to the storage. Goggles will install the update at the same time. And when the copying is done, the firmware upgrade is done. 
The receiver firmware is different here. So power on the goggles, connect the goggles to the computer by the USB. See, that's what the USB is for. I didn't say anything about USB being for power. Go to the system menu, select the RX firmware update, and the computer will show a new removable storage. Copy the goggles firmware to the storage. Goggles will install the update at the same time. When copying is done, the firmware upgrade is done. So it says here, latest download, download the latest version from this uh, Skyzone Hobbies, I guess, with a QR code. So I'll do that off camera. But yeah, basically this video is just to show you what does the goggles look like when they come to you uh, in the mailbox and show you everything that you get. I don't know if there was a good video of that. All the videos I saw was actually showing you how to use them and their review on them, how they looked and compared to other goggles. But I just wanted to check to see what all came with it, even though the descriptions on the um, websites usually tell you. I was confused for the longest time about how do you power these on? Is there an internal battery? And there isn't. And so that's helpful information because if I would have known that it, you needed one of these, I would have bought not a 6S. I mean, this is for the drone. I'll order a, maybe a 4S one, something that's not so heavy on the head and we'll go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or want to see more, let me know and we'll make a video for that too. So stay tuned for the Tyro 119 uh, drone video that I'm building. And I'm a beginner, so this will be fun. I'll be a true beginner, and this will show all the beginners that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. So see you in the next video.